Welcome back to the Freeride Academy and today we're going to take you through how to ski narrow, pretty bad and very hard uh, tree skiing. Yeah. <laughs> With me, Evelina Nilsson, of course, pro skier and pro Jedi. Yeah. All right, so breaking down how to ski narrow tree skiing, what do you think of when you go down the run? The first thing that I think about is to actually adapt, like to bring in the mogul technique into the tree skiing because it's like more direct instead of like having to like turn big turns because you're gonna have to keep it very simple and light on your foot uh -huh. and like see see the path and also the trees are like the windchip wipers <laughs> you don't think about them you think about the road ahead so that's what you gotta yeah. see your line well we're gonna go down I, and i actually have a, i actually like uh, tree skiing really much because it allows you to go more on your it's more of an impulse kind of thing. You can't really scope your line from before. You just have to go and, yeah. and try to solve your situation. And, and, and the thing about tree skiing here is that you don't really have to mind your technique that much. All you have to do is survive and go as fast as you can. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Should we try it out? We'll try it. Yes. Titta, renar. Belina, yeah. tight, narrow, wood skiing, tree skiing. It's easy to get a bit backseated because you get so, you have, you're, you're so controlled by your impulses and then you might not be ready for your turn. But how do you think, how do you think when you get in that position? I'm just trying to fight back into position, fight back into position, and it's gonna be like it's gonna be a little bit back and forward. Uh -huh. um, but like, just don't let the trees scare you because when you get scared, you kind of tend to sit back seat. Just try and like push forward and uh -huh. uh, remember that. I mean, having your hands in front can be an easy yeah. thing yeah. to think about. I noticed that you are not wearing your poles like you usually do no exactly because in the forest it could be good to not wear these because otherwise like i mean if you get stuck in a tree or something you can get pulled and it can't really hurt your arms and stuff so it's it's wise to have them like this yes yeah. yes uh, and uh, skiing tree skiing with goggles up yes or no I would say no, just to protect your eyes. I mean, you can get a branch or anything in your eye. So goggles on. I mean, it's better to get a scratch on the lens than to get a scratch on your eye. Otherwise, you can just do the block, which, which I normally do, which is this one. Not this one, because then you can see you do this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's score a few good narrow runs. Let's do it. Man, you get sweaty of those runs. So uh, tight, narrow, awesome, but not so awesome tree skiing. What have we learned? We've learned to keep our position and apply the mogul technique a little bit. Um, look forward for your line, vision up, goggles down. No straps on the poles. Exactly, no straps on the poles. And to be like super just fluid and quick. Yes. And. Also, one thing that we didn't talk about before is the ski here. You want to have a, like a little more narrow ski and not as long because it's going to be stuck in the trees. And also, we have to talk about being opportunistic and uh, making it with the, making uh, yeah ma making it work with what you have. Exactly. Be creative. Be creative. And talking from a personal experience, I'd say that this kind of skiing is super good for your skiing and soul as you have to be always prepared, always ready, always act on impulses and always uh, be willing to uh, take the next tree on your chest. <laughs> or not. It's about being very present. Like yeah. ju -ju -ju -ju. Present, yes. And that pretty much sums up uh, this episode of uh, for the Freeride Academy. We say thank you to Evelina Nilsson who's been following along and we'll be back with the next episode. Boom! Oh.